Greetings, friend. I will show you a Sudoku shortcut to this hard puzzle that when you see it, it will make your jaw drop. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go. And with that, it's solving time. Where can we solve for a one here? See these two ones in rows three and one? And this one right there, the only place for a one in block three is right here. Greetings, friend. This puzzle by Shai is from the Sudoku Cult Dark Arts Pack. The name Habaini Renmai comes from a classic Japanese anime featuring angel-like beings. Thank you, Shai, for this wonderful puzzle. And if you want to see the jaw-dropping shortcut, you first have to see how far we can get before getting stuck. So let's continue on with the ones. With this one and this one, we have two possibilities for one in block six. So what I'm doing is Snyder Notation. Anytime a three by three block, two possibilities for a can't mark it. In case we solve one, we can solve the other right away. It's going to give us some good idea of where the restrictions lie in this puzzle. And with this one and this one, put Snyder ones in block seven. And then in block eight, with these two ones, Snyder ones right here. Okay, move on to the twos. You'll notice with this two and this two, you have Snyder twos right there. And in fact, you might see with this nine coming up, the two and nine are both restricted to these two cells. So this is a bonus tip for you. The two and nine, since they're limited to those two cells, this is actually a hidden pair two nine. The two and nine have to be somewhere in block three that restricted to those cells. You can remove all of the candidates from those two cells. So then we're going to end up with a three five right there. Okay, after the three five, and continue on with the twos. You'll notice that with this two and this two, you have a pointing pair of twos in block seven. By a pointing pair, what I mean is since the twos are restricted in block seven, the column one, a two can't be anywhere else outside of the block. And since you have Snyder plus one, that means this is going to be a pointing pair. So now the twos are restricted to these two cells in block four, right? Because they can't be here. Otherwise, no place to put a two in block seven. So I'll remove those colors and we'll continue on with our solving. So we got the three five there. Uh, what else can we see with the threes? Well, with this three and these two threes, you have Snyder threes in block one. And then in block six with these two threes, Snyder threes right here. And in block nine with these two threes, Snyder threes right there. And then with the fours, this four and this four, Snyder fours in block two. And then in block six with these two fours and this four, Snyder fours right there. So Shy, really good at leading you to a very particular solve path and idea that she has. And I'm leading you to that spot. You got to first understand you're going to get to a point where you get stuck. And you see, we're not making a lot of solves here. We're just putting some Snyder marks in for all these restrictions. Okay, with the fives, with these two fives, Snyder fives, right there in block two. Nothing else with the fives, with the sixes. You'll see with these two sixes and this six, you can put Snyder sixes in block one. Nothing else with the sixes. And then the sevens, this seven and this seven. You have sevens as a pointing pair right here. So sevens can't be in these spots anymore. Restricts the sevens to these two spots. Right there. And I cover pointing pairs, hidden and naked pairs, and singles in my Sudoku solving guide. You can download it for free from the pinned comment below. All right, nothing else but the sevens. Let's look at the eights. With these two eights, you have Snyder eights in block five. And then if I look at the nines, other than this two nine hidden pair, there's nothing else we can do with the nines. We did make a couple. Uh, one solve. Let's kind of look through, see if there's anything else easy that we may have missed. And there actually is. You got to look at this cell right here. Okay, what can this cell be? It's hard to spot because there's no heavy houses. There's no row collar block that has at least five or more digits filled in. Usually, if you see that, you can start looking for uh, individual solves. But you'll notice that this cell right here, the green cell, can't be a one, can't be a two, can't be a three, can't be a four or five. Can't be a seven because there's pointing pair of sevens. Can't be an eight and it can't be a nine. So this is actually a naked single 
6 right there. So you can solve that for a 6. Not a hard strategy, but it will help you with some solving a little bit later on. And then with that 6 and this 6, you can do some Snyder marks right here. Uh, the other thing we can look for is you might notice here in row 1, you have a 1, 4, 6, 8, okay? And you notice you're missing a 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. Well, the 3, 5, and 7 all look at this cell right here. So that cell can only be a 2 or a 9. And so what you have here is a nice 2, 9 naked pair. A 2 and a 9 are the only two candidates for those two spots. And so 3, 5, and 7 have to be in the other three spots, right? You can't have a 2 and 9 in these other spots. So this is just going to be a 5, 7 now. And then this is going to be a 3, 7. We're creating some buy value cells, BVCs, which is critical for this awesome shortcut I'm about to show you. But that's really it. You know, we're getting close to the shortcut. That's all the easy stuff we can find. And you're going to get stuck here. And so before we move on, I show you that shortcut. I want to know from hear from you. What did you do at this point in the puzzle? Please, please, please drop in the comments, share with the other viewers, help me grow the best Sudoku community on YouTube. It starts with your comments. Love to see what you did from here because there are a few advanced strategies you can use. And usually at this point, you're going to go two different directions. First direction, you can always look for single can of strategies. So for single can of strategies, if you look at the ones here, you might notice that you can only have one of these two spots in row eight. And if you looked up into row five, you know, one can't be there. It could be in these two spots and this spot. But it can't be here because of this one or here because of this one. And you end up, this is a finned X-Wing, right? Uh, this would be an X-Wing except for this extra fin. And so you can eliminate a one from this cell right there. So that's something you, you may have spotted. Not much going on there. And if you looked at the fours, we got something a little bit better going on. Fours being these spots here. These spots there. Where else can we put fours? All right. And what you might see is that in columns three and five, fours are restricted to the same two rows, here and here, or there and there. Awesome. And so what you have is an X-wing, okay? And so you can make some eliminations here with the X-wing. Uh, these are the base sets, or columns three and five, and so you can eliminate a four from here, 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 and there. So you can make all those eliminations. And actually, in this cell right here, if you look, you have a one, two, three. Now it can't be a four; it could be a five, but it can't be a six, seven, eight, or a nine. You can actually solve this cell for a naked single five now using that X-wing. Now the X-wing is nice; it's not the main strategy though, and it actually. You don't have to find this to use the shortcut. But I wanted to show you that we could solve an X-Wing and solve that cell. The other thing you do, if you're not looking at single candidate strategies, is you look at buy value strategies, fill in all the buy value cells. So let's do that right now. We see you have three, seven there, five, seven here. If you look right here, this could only be a three or an eight, and you can check it yourself. This cell could only be a four or a nine. This cell could only be a 5 or a 9. And then this cell could be a 6 or an 8. Down here, you look that this could only be a 4 or a 9. That's can only be a 2 or 4 right here. This can only be a 1 or a 9. So a lot of BBCs that I put in here. And you might think the answer is you're looking at all these BVCs, maybe looking for an XY chain or something. I'm going to show you something here really cool. And then the last one, this is the most important one right here, is this two or seven. Okay, so if you looked here, you saw all these buy value cells. You might notice that there's a continuous loop going on. I'll look at these four cells right here. And this is not the shortcut, but something very cool I want to show you. You'll notice that you could do, you know, eight to the three. Add in this cell right here. 8 to the 3, 3 to 5, 5 to the 9, 9 to the 1, 1 to the 8, and you come right back up to this 8. So these five cells would form a continuous loop. And so you could eliminate all the other 3s along here 
along this row, all the other fives outside of the orange. You can eliminate all the nines coming up column six that are not in these two cells. You can eliminate all the ones that are not in those two orange cells, and you can eliminate all the eights because eight's gotta be in one of these two cells. It's a continuous loop. Very cool, these are very powerful, but this is not the shortcut. In fact, after you do this, you still will need at least one other advanced strategy to solve this. So it's time to reveal that cool shortcut. Look at this cell right here, what could this be? You know, it can't be a one, three, four, six, or an eight. It can be a two, five, seven, nine. And that doesn't seem like much, we'll highlight that in green. You gotta ask yourself this question. If you look at this cell right here, this two or seven, if this is a seven, what happens to this green cell? You put a seven right here, you would displace this Snyder seven, and you saw the cell for seven. Okay, cool. No big deal, that makes sense. But what if this is a two? You put a two right there, what you might notice is now where can a two go along row five? Can't go here because of this two. It can't go here because of this pointing pair of twos. And it can't go here because of this two. So you'd end up putting a two right here, which would put a nine right there. And then where can a two go across row two? Can't go here or here because of this two. Can't go here because of this two you put there. This cell would have to be a two. Like, okay, Timberlake, what's the big deal? Well, this is the shortcut. You might notice is no matter what this cell is, this cell is the mirror. It's the same thing. If this is a two, that has to be a two. And if you remember, if it was a seven, then this cell has to be a seven. And so in no case can this cell be a five or a nine. So you can eliminate a five or a nine right there. So this is a type of forcing chain. You put in two values, you see that it eliminates digits from a particular cell. It's also a type of bifurcation, if you want to call it, where you just plug in both of these. But since we saw where it ended up, I prefer to call this a forcing chain. This is really cool little shortcut because what this does is going to allow you to do much more solving here. How far can we go? Let's find out. So once you remove that, you saw that we removed a Snyder 5. So then this cell can be a 5. And now you're going to be able to disambiguate the 3 and the 5 right here. You want to try to eliminate as much as this markings as possible. And then with this 3, we're going to be able to disambiguate that whole loop that we're working on. Because that's the 8, that's the 1. Ask the nine, and we clean up that whole continuous loop. Now, what can we do? Well, you'll notice that uh, with the nine, we can actually do a little bit more solving here. So you got these two nines and this nine. You can solve this cell for a nine. So that's going to be a two. That's going to be a nine right there. All right. And then with this two, that's going to be your nine. And with these two nines, you can put a nine right here, and this is gonna be your four. And then with these two nines, you got a nine right here. And then with these two nines and this nine, you can solve for nine right there. So we knocked out all of the nines. How about the fours? All right, with these two fours, you can solve for four right there. And then you can continue on with this five, you know, that's gotta be the seven, that's gotta be the three. And you notice with this one, uh, and this one, you can solve for a one right here. At this one, you have right here is a two, six naked pair. And the naked pair acts as a pointing pair. It's in the same row. So this can't be a two anymore. That's got to be your two. And you'll notice with these two sevens, you can solve for a seven right there. And then with these two sevens and this seven, you can solve for a seven in block nine. So far, we're making some great progress really knocking out with this two six here. You'll notice that we don't have a four in row seven. So that's gotta be your four, displacing that Snyder four. Solve for four right here, displacing the Snyder one, displace that Snyder three, displacing this Snyder three. So knocked all those out, awesome. And then we can move on with these two fours. You remove that for four and you got a nice two seven naked pair right here. We'll relieve some of those marks. Okay, and you can see here that we just need a six and an eight. I got my six right there. So here's your six, here's your eight, disambiguate, you know, get that four out of there. You know, this has gotta be your eight now, awesome. All right, and now with this four, you can solve for the four up here in block one. It means this has gotta be a 
five now. Okay, and these two fives and this five, we solve for a five right here. And with these two fives and this five, solve for a five right there. You have a full house in column seven. So we can finish all that up. That's got to be a two. This place in this nine or two. So we can solve for two right there. Now we're going to disambiguate that seven to seven using a little right angle trick, as I call that. And then we can move on and see that. We have just a six and an eight right here. So six and eight right there, six and eight right there. So these can't be six and eight. So this cannot be an eight anymore. That means this has to be your eight. That's going to be a six, eight, six, eight right there. Looking good. Okay. And then we can see that with this one, that's got to be your one. And with these two ones and this one, that's going to be your one right there. So we can finish up. Block four now with a seven and finish up row four with a six. Disambiguate the two and the six right here. And our last digit is a two. Now see if you can spot the shortcut in this next shy video. Thank you so much for watching.